This is a quick revisit to my previous tutorial on for loops, uh, something I should have mentioned and I didn't. Let's look at the code that we created last time around. Uh, we have our header file here, our main loop, creating a variable and then doing our loop here. But we only did one line of loops, so it knows that this next line is part of the for loop. What we really should do to make it a little more proper, and especially if we want to have more than one command within the for loop, is add our squiggly brackets here. So now that we did that, right now the code will run the same if we compile it and then run it. But the reason we want to do that is if we wanted to add more than one line. So let's say we wanted to put a spacer to divide each line that's printed out. We can say now print f and then I can just do something like this backslash n for new line close that. So now we can compile that, run it, and you'll see that we get a nice little divider in between each line that runs. And uh, if you look at the code again, I'll explain that. So everything within between this bracket and this bracket is part of the for loop now. So each time it loops, it's not only print this line, it's going to print this line as well. If I didn't have the squiggly brackets, remove that one and remove this one, I can recompile it, I don't get any errors, but when I run it, you'll see that it doesn't put the divider in between each line, it puts it at the end because it's not part of the for loop, it runs after the for loop. So just to clarify, make it a little more proper, don't forget your squiggly brackets, like so, recompile. I know this is a quick little tutorial, I just wanted to retouch on the last tutorial. Hope you're enjoying my tutorials, and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.